Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video. So, I'm back with a hair video. I tend to shy away from hair videos for the simple fact that I have a lot of hair, number one. Um, I'm going through a little bit of a thing with my hair. So, like, I'm still trying to figure out my hair. Um, number two... Was that number two or number three? I don't know. But, basically... If you want to create this look, keep on watching. Alright y'all, I done recorded this thing like 80 million times. I'm over it. And like I got this sexy voice on, I don't really talk like that. Anyway, so on fresh clean hair, I like to use two things. I like to use a t-shirt to um, soak out any excess water without causing frizz. Because you know, towels cross frizz and it could snag your hair as well. And I like to use a regular head wrap to keep the water from um, dripping down my neck. So like I tie the head wrap around the baseline of my head. So as you guys can see, I have a full mane. I have a full, full mane. My hairstylist love to joke. She says that I have two afros on one head and I definitely do believe her. So I'm using John Frida Frizz Ease. This is the extra strength serum. I think once this bottle is done, I might try another um, serum for Frizz because lately this serum hasn't been doing much for me. Maybe I have to use more, I don't know, but I don't wanna pack my hair with product on like the first day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on all around my hair and my strands. Um, this is one of those products I like to put on while my hair is in the afro instead of putting it on individually because even though it's a serum, it can build up quite easily. Alright y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and take a wide tooth rat tail comb now. This was my first ever time seeing one of these combs this big, but I got it out of my hood beauty supply store. Like I actually had to travel to the hood to get this and it works wonders. So when I seen it, I got like two or three of them at the same time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and divide my head into four equal parts. So you know, I split it down the middle and then I split it um, sideways. So vertically and then horizontally and I use some clips to clip it up. After that is done, I'm going to take some of this organic silk blowout. Now, this is the first time I'm using this. This is like a thermal spray, but it's also like, it's like three in one kind of. Like you can um, use it as a thermal spray also to help you blot your hair really good. And it's quick drying. Now, mm, I liked it because it did kind of get my hair a little bit silkier than it normally would have been. But what I will tell you is I noticed like a lot of buildup from this stuff. Like even using my blow dryer with the comb, I noticed that it got like a lot of buildup near the comb area. So, mm. so I sprayed that into my head after I like sectioned it off in parts. And then as you can see, I'm taking a, t a comb pick. Well, it's really a pick. Um, and I'm just going to comb out my hair from ends to roots just to detangle anything so that when I go ahead and put that blow dryer through there, I'm not going to have no problems, no snags, no nothing. Now, y'all, this is my first time using this blow dryer and I fell in love. Now, I had one of these blow dryers growing up. I didn't know that they still made them in this particular like style. But child, it's so easy to use. I love it. So it has about three settings. It has high, medium, low, and then it has um, cool, warm, and hot. I use the medium warm on my hair the whole time. And then sometimes I went up to high, medium, but I never went to hot. Never went to hot because I knew I was flat ironing my hair after this. So yeah even when i don't flat iron my hair i still don't go all the way up to hot or high now actually i'll go up to high as in like how much air blows out but i never go up to hot because honey your girl got issues with split split ends and stuff like that so i i don't be having time to be trying to break the rest of my hair off i don't have time for that mm -mm. i ain't trying to be walking around like a bald head of scallywag hell no So I know this video is a little fast, but you guys, I have a lot of hair and each section took me about 20 minutes to blow dry because I sectioned it off piece by piece by piece within the section. So it took me a while to blow dry each section. Um, so yeah, now I'm just going to go ahead to the front part of my head and do the same exact thing that I did in the back, spray it, spray it, you know, section it off and spray it some more. 
um, because I'm really like worried about heat damage. I really don't want to go through that. And the only time my hair has had heat within the past four years was when a stylist did it. So this was like the first time I really put heat on my own hair. So I didn't really want to damage my hair. Um, so yeah, I'm just blow drying my hair, like I said, on medium, low heat. I believe something like that, yeah. Um, I'm definitely not touching hot at all. And my technique to, technique to blowing out my hair is actually I pull it a little bit like I hold it at the ends and I just bring the blow dryer down while pulling on my hair stretching it so like maybe like the stretching method but yet I'm using a blow dryer at the same time with a comb and as you can see it gets it like super super duper straight and the straighter it gets it, the better it will um straighten out with a flat iron like you can't flat iron hair that's like curly without it being somewhat straight because it just won't work So as y'all can see, I basically did the same thing I've been doing to my whole entire head to this part of my hair as well. This is the last part. I know around this time you start to get lazy. You want to take bigger clumps. Trust me, I did that. And then I had to go right back into it and fix it. As you can see, like some sections, it's taking me a little bit longer because I decided that I wanted to take more hair. So after all of that is done, I'll go ahead and take my... Um, serum again i hit my ends with the serum because that's where i was having a poofiness at and i also sprayed some more heat protectant on it now this is a technique i see my hairstylist do on me and other people when she do silk presses she kind of sprays it down with something and then re-blow dry it in total all over again like when it's just all out um, and I guess this is like a way to, I guess, like hit some areas that may have not gotten straightened or whatever. But this technique actually works. It makes the hair last longer. And as you can see, like areas that may have gotten poofy as I was blow drying my hair are now back kind of straight. So I like this method. Don't tell my stylist I told you that. And when it comes to this tutorial, we are done, my dear. So I want you guys to go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification button because I will be pressing this out on camera as well. So as soon as you see this video, in a few more days, you should see this silk press video as well. So go ahead and hit that notification button. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also comment 
and subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit that bell so that you'll be notified when I post some more videos okay because the new videos the you know I had to get out like a lot of my old content that I had from like years ago and you know just to get my channel back active because you know I had to get back in the spirits of doing YouTube so I just went to the archives and just started uploading old stuff so when we get to the new quality you know you, you gonna like me better trust me I, I've grown I've grown like you can even see the quality I ain't going out of focus no more like <laughs> new camera who's this okay so yes make sure you like comment and subscribe also follow me on Twitter and Instagram all of my links are down below Thank you guys for watching. Bye.